Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today I'm gonna give you the top 10 salary cap cards for NBA 2K24, my team. But before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, it's like the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your note game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into the video, okay? So, First and foremost, we're talking about salary cap. You only have twenty thousand dollars to work with, so again, you're not gonna be trying to. We're not picking. We're not using dark matters and that type of deal. You have to find the best bang for your buck to be able to have a solid starting lineup. And the next thing is, this top ten is going to be fluid. And this week it'll be these. Next week it'll be another because the price has changed. I cannot use two K um, NBA two K DB because they do not they're not up they're not updated right like the, the the pricing of these cards on their website is different from on the game so that's why i'm using the game right now but um anywho let's hop right into it number 10 is going to be pink diamond um pink diamond paul george where you at paul george? there you go all right pink diamond paul george the reason being is because he is just an absolute demon. 6'8", small forward shooting guard. You can use utilize him, you know, at either position. He's going to be an elite defender. Can shoot it. Can finish at the basket at a high high rate. And, of course, his tendencies are off the charts. So, so I'm going to show real quick. Because he has 99 pass interception tendency, as you see right there. Um, just an absolute black hole. If you're playing off ball a lot, you just don't get on him. Because any ball that goes his direction, most likely, he is going to intercept it. Okay? So that is one guy that we want to rock with at the number nine spot is going to be another pink diamond and this pink diamond is going to be darren williams at 3000 okay so darren williams he is going to be 6'3 he's a little undersized but 99 um offense 99 defense really really quick release in my humble opinion right now he's going to be the better option over a lot of them as you can see right here Austin Robinson is at 5300 now so they took that option away you could also look at Luca but Luca's 5000 now so there's other options of course I thought about diamonds right I thought about looking at Penny Hardaway which is a good option at 1800 but Darren Williams release his offense his sigs everything about him is elite right so even though he's a tad short on that side we're talking about salary cap so we're not necessarily worrying about how he can be exploited defensively he's still solid defensively really high still rate good perimeter defense i mean in my humble opinion he's a solid number nine okay now at number eight right at number eight we're gonna be looking again at another pink diamond and this time we're going to the small four position and we're looking at michael beasley okay so where is beasley at where you at beasley so beasley for the longest has just been one of those solid cards very good release decent sigs not the best sigs but what really pushes him ahead is because he has a very very good release he's six nine that can play the small four position but his release is elite all right so you want to be be able to have somebody that's elite for three thousand come on man like it's not even up for debate definitely go ahead and put him in the game right at my number seven spot is going to be the one the only hold up the one the only diamond lebron james now the reason why diamond lebron james is so good he can hold every single badge for 3500 94 raw he plays way much better than that 69 small forward ridiculous strength ridiculous um animations you get finishing at the basket etc it's amazing how this card has aged so well that there is no flaws in this card it plays defense it shoots it does everything right it's crazy that's a 94 raw extremely extremely elite and that's why i have him at number seven okay at my number six plus spot was a shocker to me it's a pink diamond okay and it's chet holmgren now again this is only for this week i don't know how it's going to be later on but chet holmgren for some reason shape or form is only four thousand dollars are you kidding me he has a really good premium release good defense seven foot one i mean come on are you kidding me like he is absolutely going to cook with grease having him in your lineup is going to be game changing so again you want to make sure take advantage of it right now if you're watching these videos if you have them he's just three thousand so you want to go ahead and put him in there and have some fun okay um at these the number five position and again i think it's pretty funny how op he is and to be honest with you i always said that i'm um, talking about tyrus thomas here i always said that he was outside of pink diamond kobe this was the best pink diamond we had but remember this was talking about as far as the ability to create and that type of deal right he has absolutely juice sigs 
really really quick jump shot they make this man absolutely great he is so fun to play with 6'9 again i will obviously put him at the small four position he is going to be so 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 fun and elite to play with so if you do have him definitely take him in consideration that's why he has cracked the top five okay at my number uh oops oops what i'm doing here at my number four position again another shocker but again you want to take advantage of this because you do not know how long he's going to be available at this price it is going to be pink diamond Giannis at 3800 are you kidding me he's one of the most elite of the elites 97 offense 99 defense he's seven foot pull him at the center position you can still shoot with him but he's by far the fastest seven footer we have in the game and i'm talking about look at these numbers here you're not gonna say like the, the perimeter defense interior defense the block the steal the speed is at 95 97 acceleration you're not going to see anything as as athletic as this that can dribble he can push the ball in transition get the defensive rebound push it up the floor he's absolutely cracked this is an insanely good um pink diamond card and i will definitely like i said him and Wim, um chet Holmgren are some good options here so keep that in mind um Holmgren, um Chet Holmgren is at 4,000. Giannis is at 3,800. You definitely want to keep that in consideration, okay? And then my number three. Now, we're looking at the top three. My number three is, again, I am flabbergasted that he's even an option. He's available at this cheap price. That is going to be Pink Diamond Scotty Pippen. All right, now, I don't know how Scotty Pippen became this affordable at 4,000, but now he's at 4,000. One of the most elite defenders we have in the game one of the most elite uh, shooters, one of the elite, I mean, just all around elite. Now, Michael Jordan, I was thinking about putting him at number 10, You can, but he's not, at, so I guess he'll be number 11. My pink diamond Michael Jordan is also good. He's at 3,800, so I can go ahead and show you Mike real quick. Michael Jordan is another option, but he's made it to my 11, but I still want to mention him just because he is a good at, uh, at the rate that he is, but then also because, where you at, MJ? Where's MJ? All right, did I, did I skip him? Oh, there he is. Um, MJ's at 3,000. He has a slow release, so then that's why, you know, but, you know, some people can do MJ, you know, Paul George, you know, maybe like, you know, you. Can, but if you have him and Scottie Pippen together, they become Galaxy Opal. So, again, that is a good option, but Pippen at number three, for obvious reasons, is absolutely cooked. Now, this is the one that really had me like, yo, this is crazy. I don't know if they made a mistake, but we need to hurry up and go ahead and put him in the game, have some fun with that. Number two is going to be Wimby. He is $3,000. Like, what? Wimby right now is only $3,000. Seven foot four, crazy wingspan. One of the best defenders in the game. This pink diamond is aged well. You see right there, 91 three ball. Everything about him is just absolutely cooked. He is going to be extraordinarily fun if you're able to use him. In his, like, come on, man. Are you kidding me? Using him in salary cap should be really, really fun. And then, of course, without any ifs, ands, or buts about it, the number one overall card that you should be looking at for a pink diamond is going, I mean, for, for salary cap, is going to be pink diamond Kobe Bryant. Now, of course, this is a year of Kobe Bryant, so you know everything about him is going to be really solid. But at $4,000, it's still one of the best cards in the game. He has done so well for me. He has played for so long. Again, 99 offense, 99 defense. His tendencies are really, really good. He can finish elite. His defense is elite. His shooting is elite. That's elite jump shot, release. Everything about him is really, really, really cooked, man. So, again, just going back down the list again, number one is Kobe Bryant, Pink Diamond Kobe Bryant. Number two is Pink Diamond Wimby. Number three is Pink Diamond Scottie Pippen. Number four is Pink Diamond Giannis. Number five is Pink Diamond Tyrus Thomas. Number six is Pink Diamond Chet Holmgren. Number seven is Diamond LeBron James. Number eight is Pink Diamond uh, Michael Beasley. Number nine is Pink Diamond Darren Williams. And of course, number 10 is Pink Diamond Paul George slash Pink Diamond Michael Jordan, depending on how you like it. But that is my top 10 for the salary cap. Let me know in the comment section what you think about these top 10 cards for salary cap. Remember, it is fluid. So it could change. Hell, I can drop this video today and then tomorrow the prices have changed. So just keep that in mind. Take a look at these numbers. But I will probably do a weekly update on these. But other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.